my story. Tell him, Selena. Hey, this is my story. Oh. Yes, sir. So what up, YouTube? That lean. Sitting, chilling at a light in this hot Florida sun. Hot. And it ain't even fucking summer yet. Anyways, we're trying to make this vlog for a couple of days now. Uh, I didn't make it, but it was at night, and I'm not sure how that's going to come out. Well, with that being said, I'm going to try to make it now. Let's try. So, you know what grinds my gears? Um, people who've been riding who think they know it all. And by know it all, I mean people who think that what's best for me on my bike. For example, I had somebody tell me. Let me sit on your bike and I'll tell you if it's low enough for you. Are you kidding me? How can somebody who's taller than me sit on my bike and tell me if it's low enough for me? I mean, that don't even make sense, really. I'm gonna sit on your bike and tell you if it's low enough for you. Okay. So we'll check that off the list because that's just dumb. Two, I know for a fact that yes, it's better to be able to flat foot both feet on your bike. I understand that. I know that. I get that. However, I am short. So with that being said, I cannot flat foot both feet at the same time. I can put the balls of my feet down at the same time. I cannot flat foot the bike at the same time. I've already had my aha, oh shit moment, you know what I'm saying? Where I've had to put both feet out at the same time. And I did that, comfortably, no issues. However, for me to be able to flat flip my bike, my bike would have had to been on the ground. And that just, that wasn't feasible, wasn't possible, wasn't gonna happen. Okay. Now, another thing. When I took the MSF course, I couldn't even put the balls of my feet down on that bike. I had to tippy toe that. And I passed just fine. So, there's no way you can sit on my bike and you're taller than me now and tell me, oh, I'm going to sit on your bike and tell you if it's low enough. Shut up. Another thing. In MSF, of course, they give you a checklist. You know, things you're supposed to look for. Before you get on your bike. Okay? So, I was talking to somebody and they asked me if I walk around my bike before I get on it. I told them, yeah. And they laughed. 
how are you going to laugh at a fellow rider for doing something that's for their safety? You know what I'm saying? Yes, I walk around my bike. I, I don't check everything that was on that list that the MSF class gives, gives you. But I check my lights. I check my tires. I check my chain. I check my clutch, my brake, and my throttle. The things that will keep me safe and alive on this road is what I check. And how dare you laugh at a fellow rider for doing something that keeps them safe. So, I mean, honestly, if you're going to laugh at a fellow rider, man, not only do I not want nothing from you, I don't even, I don't respect you. You know what I'm saying? No, there's nothing you can do for me. Because you thought it was funny that I walk around my, my bike. I walk around my car before I get in it. So best believe I'm going to walk around this bike before I get on it. That's just common sense. That's, that's the type of stuff that'll keep you alive. If you as a fellow rider who's been so-called riding longer, you know, 10 years or whatever bullshit you said, and you can't respect that, I don't respect you. I have nothing to say to you. So, just a real quick one-hitter video. Um, <sighs> Happy Mother's Day. It is Mother's Day. Uh, Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Special shout out to my mother uh, for giving me the drive, the determination, and the wherewithal to live my life the way I want to live it. And as I always say, man, stay safe, ride safer. Peace.